I think she, I don't know the exact order, but I know, I think she first brings up something that happened in a class last semester with the teacher where like there was like literally like four or five days left of class. The teacher kicked me out of the class for the rest of the semester, you know, it was no big deal. Uh, I don't really want to, I'm not going to say the teacher's name just because I really don't care anymore. It's not a big deal to be brought up, but she was bringing that up as one of like the behavior issues or whatever in that class. And everyone in that class knows I was I was definitely not the worst kid in that class and like everyone kind of had like like a good time or whatever like kind of like messed around I guess you'd say but we all got our work done like I'd always do my work I had a high A in the class and she says like the teacher doesn't like the teacher just doesn't want me in the class anymore and stuff like that like whatever she doesn't she throws one other person out of the class too even though like so many people in this class were just doing the same exact shit like I didn't really care about that, but that was, like, her reason number one or whatever. Like, I guess it's kind of valid or whatever, but you can ask any other teachers, uh, teacher I've had at Stephen Decatur High School, and I think they would say the opposite, that I've been a great student for them, and, you know, maybe I just didn't get along with this one teacher, but I don't think one teacher should, like, dick, be, like, that powerful and really dictate, like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, honestly, it's like, where stuff just starts to get, like, I don't really get like these punishments that I'm getting when other people for the exact same stuff are getting absolutely nothing. So I left school one day out the front door. I was gone for five minutes. This was in between classes, in between fourth and fifth period classes when like the bell rang. I like was outside and then I got back in or whatever. So I was considered leaving and coming back to school or whatever. And I don't know. I got a fucking Saturday school for that, and I've been with people when Mr. Sites catches people doing that same shit coming back to school, and he does, he didn't even give them anything. People get called down to the office all the time by the scheduling people because they were leaving school, and then, like, their, like, the, just, like, their attendance doesn't make any sense because they clearly left school because they got marked absent for the second period, and they were not called out, so... It happens all the time. People leave and come back to the school all the fucking time. They know it. They have these cameras that they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on, these facial recognition cameras that they spent so much money on, but I'm the only one who gets a punishment for this. So I think that's kind of like crazy, a fucking Saturday school for this. I was gone for five fucking minutes. This is the first time I've ever done it and been caught other people are doing this all the time and get caught and absolutely nothing happens so i think that's the first one that's kind of unfair in my opinion but i could see some people think like you know maybe he deserves it or whatever i'm gonna get into some she brings up that burquest doesn't want me in the class okay and i actually confirmed this today i don't want to get burquest involved with this you know if he's watching this uh i have no problems with you i like you i like your class so I hope this doesn't cause a problem between us. I don't think it will, but... So, yeah, Miss Garden says that Burquez doesn't want me in his class and said he didn't like, like, when I was doing the TikToks in the weightlifting class before or whatever. So, I see him, and I ask him today, and he says that's just not true, what Miss Garden was saying. So, someone's lying here. I don't, I think it's Miss Garn honestly just lying to me or just making stuff up because I talked to him and he said he did not say that. He came up to me and told me before in when I had him first semester for weightlifting that his daughter showed him the videos. He like thought they were like funny or whatever. He never once came up to me during that class and said, stop making the videos. You had a problem with them. So that's just absolutely not valid at all. And that's another reason that they just want me to pretty much be gone after first period because first period I, I need that to graduate so like they kind of don't have a choice or whatever i have to stay there but yeah that's just so she's just making up lies so another thing that's pretty crazy is they they hate the tiktok they've told me mr sites like doesn't like it and stuff like that like a bunch of people just told me like stuff that happens and said or whatever but yeah they tell me that tiktok is banned for everyone in the school. So not even, they said not even a student can have it downloaded on their personal phone. On their personal fucking phone. You can't have the app downloaded on your phone when you're in school, I guess, which is just, 
I mean, you can't tell someone what they can and can't have on their own phone. So I don't know how that makes any sense. They were sitting and then they just say it's like from like the board or whatever. Like that's just not true. And that's one of the biggest reasons that this is all happening. This all is spiraling because I make the TikTok videos in the school and they do not like them. So I don't know, are they gonna fucking have a problem with everyone in the school? Because they're making TikToks? No, it's not happening. Maybe it's just because mine get a little bit of views. I don't I don't know, but and then Mr. Green was also saying that I'm posting people on TikTok that didn't give me my consent for them to be posted, which everyone knows that's been in a video. I always ask first if you want to be in the video. If you don't, I'm not even gonna start recording. After that, you can tell me. If you don't want the clip posted in the video, and I won't fucking post it, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but that's just not true at all either. So I'm sitting there trying, pleading, trying to was I dropping F bombs in there? Yeah, I was in I was extremely upset about what was going on or whatever, because I had been taken out of a class. Then Miss Garden was trying to say that the class I was the thirty first person added to the class looked at the class roster, the class had like 35 or 36 people in it. So that just was not true. I had been in the class since summer, so there's no way that I was just added. She pulled me out of the class. She even admitted she pulled me out of the class. And then I went to guidance, got back in the class, and I got... Then they were trying to say that I was like late getting into the class. Like I was like one of the last people getting in then. So that was like one of their reasons for taking me out, which... I was already in the class and Ms. Garn took me out. Like it just does it wasn't making it just doesn't make any sense.